Corin Selkis, and I'm here to talk to you about my new memoir, Fury. Fury is about a comedically horrific year in my late 20s. In some ways, it's a sequel to my first memoir, Smashed, which was about my experiences binge drinking as a teenager and college student. I didn't initially set out to write a sequel to Smashed. In fact, I didn't want to write a memoir at all in the beginning. Um, when I was 27 years old, I got it into my head that I wanted to write an objective, journalistic book of essays about common causes of and remedies for anger in American culture. To that end, I went and stayed at an anger management seminar, the kind that you see in movies where people beat up punching bags with aluminum bats and pretend it's their mom and dad. I went and spent a few weeks at a Buddhist center and learned how to chant and meditate and turn anger into something softer and more helpful, like compassion. Um, but also when I was 27, I, I fell in love. I met a man who was um, a British singer-songwriter and the front man of an indie rock group. And I moved to the British seaside town of Brighton to be closer to that relationship. To say that that relationship didn't work out is to put it lightly. What happened was more like an argument of World War III proportions. And it ended with me throwing everything I owned in a suitcase and changing my ticket to the earliest flight home back to the United States. I had subletters at the time, staying at my apartment in New York City, so I had to hole up at my mom and dad's house in rural Massachusetts. And while I was there, I just got absolutely leveled by all the feelings that I'd spent years um, using alcohol to escape. It was there at my parents' house that I really began to turn all my research um, on myself and my own experiences. I uh, became the guinea pig, if you will, the case study in my own psychological experiment. I began to explore homeopathy, meditation, chakrology, all these things I'd long ago dismissed as much too wispy and new age. I also had my first brushes with therapy. I um, began to look hard at some of the childhood experiences I'd never really wanted to look at. I grew up in a family where talk of emotions was off limits on the grounds that it made people uncomfortable. We had always avoided confrontation as a rule, unless we absolutely couldn't avoid it and exploded. I myself was always a bit calorophobic, meaning I was terrified of anger. I went out of my way to avoid expressing it, even when I was deeply, diabolically pissed off. Um, I always wanted to be polite. Because I was so inexperienced with anger for so long, it often came out in really inappropriate ways at very inappropriate times. Um, this book is also filled with a lot of stupidity, obscenity, insanity. Um, it's filled with me kicking the grills of cabs and yelling at strangers in the street. Um, but it's also filled with a lot of self-discovery. Um, I found my anger, and as a result, I found love. If you related to my first book, I really hope that you check Fury out. Um, it might appeal to you if you've ever been through a nasty breakup, if you grew up in a difficult family, um, if you just want to get into the real heart and mind of anger. Please check back with me frequently at cornselkis.com where I'm going to be posting some book tour dates for September. I'm also on Facebook. Drop me a line anytime. Um, I hope you read Fury. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you all stay in touch.